entity sheet and service entity process or service cycle in SAP MM. So in the material ma management, many times we are also buying services. So for that, we'll create a purchase order, service purchase order. <clears throat> Same transaction code ME21N. We'll create service entity sheet ML81N. And then we verify the logistic invoice verification for service PO. And then we'll be verify PO history. So that way we will do complete sales service cycle in SAP MM. So first and foremost, uh, <clears throat> purchase order is the same purchase order screen as we always use ME 21N. So that is not uh, anywhere different. And uh, so we can select any vendor. So that also could be any vendor, purchase organization, purchasing group, company code, like any purchase order. Here, item category is D. So for the service POs, there is item category D. We can enter the account summit category, for example, say K. Hit enter. And then system asks me to enter services. We can say uh, this is uh, you know office painting services. So we are calling office painting services, plant 1000. And then system opens up a new tab here called service tab. And uh, that service step is basically um, allow me to enter the service. We can say service step, office painting, quantity, activity unit, and $1,000. And then we enter the cost center $1,000. So, <clears throat> so when we see here, this is like any purchase order, same transaction code, ME21N. The difference here is, that we need to enter item category K. So here we have item category K. Item category is K. Uh, item category is D. Account sign category K, cost center, item category D. Item category D make this um, particular document purchase order is service purchase order so if somebody say in this purchase order or in the regular purchase order what is the difference that is the item category d so we create an office pending service and then we save it and then we save it. so we created a purchase order we make a note of the purchase order this is like any purchase order we have created. So this is the purchase order. <coughs> so PO number, and then we make a note of the PO number. This is the purchase order. Then we go to next transaction that is called service entry sheet. This is service entry sheet. Service entry sheet is equivalent to good receipt. Now, when you're receiving the material, at that time, we do a Guru Seat. Guru Seat serves as a proof that material has been delivered. So service entry sheet is equivalent of Guru Seat in case of services. So what is the service entry sheet? So service entry sheet is equivalent, equivalent to goods receipt in case of in case of service POs because service entry sheet also acknowledges it allow me to acknowledge entry 
of service and it also allow me posting and approval of service that yes this service task has been done this service task has been approved so that is why we can also have a service entry sheet so that is what service entry sheet basically comes into the picture so this is the service entry sheet transaction code is ml81n so transaction code is ml81n which allow us to enter service entry sheet so if you go to service entry sheet so here we have a create service entry sheet and uh, we can choose a purchase order and then here we can service entry sheet create and then and we go back and then so we can ml 51 n and then here we can have a uh, different purchase orders so we can choose purchase order and then here we can display and then here we have a copy entry sheet create entry sheet purchase order so we can choose so we can familiarize some of this screen okay. so this is the purchase order we have selected and uh, this is service entry sheet and uh, so this was the PO and then service entry sheet has a number and we can see that uh, this is service entry sheet for office painting and then in the bottom we have some something called service selection so we can select service and then we can say against which PO we say against this PO and then we hit it then system select the information which is there in the PO. So this is office painting, one pieces, thousand dollars. And then we can say copy or adopt. So then what system does, it basically copies the whole information from and here. After that, there is a save button. So see the message in the bottom. Message in the bottom tells me that service entry sheet 1000327 has been posted. So this is the service entry sheet. So we can make a note of that. So this is the service entry sheet with system kit. That is the document which is equivalent to doing the course. So service entry sheet. And then after service entry sheet, this is in display mode, we can change it. And then when we can change, it tells me the status. It is entered, but no acceptance. It tells me the status, no acceptance. So that basically means that we have not accepted this service. And here we have a acceptance. And then we accept. And then we save it. Now see the message in the bottom. It tells me service entry sheet has been saved. Acceptance document 600965 posted. So this is equivalent to Guru Seat. So when at the time of Guru Seat, system created a material document, an accounting document. Similarly, there is a service entry sheet document and equivalent to this acceptance document. So there is a acceptance document. So we will look at that also. And, uh, and then we can go back here, we can verify the history. This is a thousand dollars, total value is this. Um, this is, uh, you know, created for, by this people. Uh, and then all that information has been saved as a part of this transaction. And then after that, I want to go back to the 
next step which is the posting the logistic invoice verification so we have a posted service entry sheet we have done the acknowledgement we have done the approval of service entry sheet now i want to post the logistic invoice verification so go back and then here we have a logistic invoice verification this is the same transaction mego which we use otherwise in the same case we use the same transaction so we can enter here we can enter amount say 1000 we can enter the PO number hit enter PO number is different so PO number is this PO number and remove it we enter the PO number hit enter and then system gives me balance comes as zero and then uh, we go back in the so I can change the text here and then I go back in the line item there's a text so making text code is similar and then we hit enter and then we hit save. see the message in the bottom material document has been posted now the next step which I want to do is basically verify the PO history so I want to go to this purchase order and I want to see that in purchase order what really happened. So I want to go to purchase order display. So this is the pure number. So I can choose uh, pure number. And uh, so the pure number was this 42. Yep. And then I want to see the status. In the status, what do I see? So on invoice quantity is for 1000 pieces so 1000 pieces has been invoiced after that i want to go to po history now i want to see that in po history what all has been done in the po history there are few things which we see here so there is a service entry sheet document there is a gurusi document and there is a invoice receipt document so there are three document got created so service entry sheet, if I click onto it, it take it to the service entry sheet that it is accepted, who did it. So this is the person who has done the service entry sheet. And this is what we posted. Then we have a, along with the service entry sheet, behind the scene, there's a material document. So this is the material document. So this is a service entry sheet. This is the material document. When I click to the material document, then it goes to the same material document screen, which you will see here. So moment I 101, and then there is a against this purchase order with reference to this service entry sheet. So here, what system does with reference to this purchase order, which is service purchase order, this was the service entry sheet which was created, and then this was the material document which was created so behind the scene there is also a material document so we, where we see here there is a material document the material document get created automatically behind the scene this is the material document number and this get created with reference to my service entry sheet item category service so system knows that this is a um service item then we go to partner this is my supplier and it came to the cost center that's it. now there is another document so there is a finance document also so there's a finance document as well so it posts to the accounting document as well so there is a material document and there is also a accounting document okay so system we create a purchase order number then we create a service entry sheet number then system create a <clears throat> material document number and then this accounting document number and there is a logistic invoice verification document also so if i go back if i see there is a invoice receipt document this is invoice receipt document so this is a document which got created so this is uh, our invoice receipt document. 
So this is basically logistic document. Logistic document. Because when you're posting the invoice for the vendors, it create a logistic document. And then if you go to the document flow, then there is a counting document also. This is a where system will be crediting my vendor because at the end of the day, vendor would be make a payment to us. So there is a counting document also. So then there is a logistic document and then there is a accounting document. So this is another document which got created. So this is the accounting document. Now in this accounting document, my vendor account got credited and my purchase service account got debited. So here we have a counting document. So these are the multiple documents which got created in the system. So one, two, three, four, five, six documents get created in the end-to-end -end service cycle. Thank you.